minus 30 seconds. T minus 15. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and one. Alpha. Go Falcon, go to Larry. Copy, 1 Alpha. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one propulsion is nominal. T plus 35 seconds into the Polaris Dawn mission. Flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9 to new heights. Power and telemetry nominal. And we're throttling down in preparation down. for max Q. Next call out, the vehicle supersonic. And there on the left side, we've got Falcon the Polaris Dawn crew. Supersonic. Thumbs up from the pilot on the left side there. Max Q. We're throttled back throttle up it. to power. One Bravo. And we heard the call out, one Bravo. Copy, one Bravo. That just tells the crew what would happen uh, should they need to initiate anything. But right now, everybody making nominal call outs on Falcon 9. Nice views from the ground camera. And nice view from inside Dragon. Impact chill is underway. The announcement lets us know we've begun the final chill of the second stage engine in preparation for its activity coming up at about T plus two minutes and 40 seconds. Two minutes into flight. Everything continues to look good. We'll have in half a minute, three major activities. Shutdown of the nine Merlin 1D engines. Stage separation, stage throttle down. and then ignition of the second stage engine. Throttle down, we're holding a constant acceleration now for the crew just below 4 Gs. See, we're coming up 70 kilometers. Preparing for Miko. Main engine cut off. Two Alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Got it. Two Alpha. Stand back ignition. As you can tell by the cheers behind us and the views on your screen, the first stage booster now on its way to attempt landing on just read the instructions. Second stage there on the right hand side of your screen. You can see that the first stage has not yet reached its apogee. You can see the altitude there. Lots of thumbs up there, <coughs> excuse me, from pilot Scott Kid Potit. Now three and a half minutes into the Polaris Dawn mission. First stage continuing to make its way up, up to its apogee. We'll see that altitude begin to slow down. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Great news there indicating Dragon copy. that the second stage trajectory is looking good. Now the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. If we get first stage views, we might be able to see the Florida coast in the background. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, we sure can. Once again, the, our drone ship is attempting to land on, um, excuse me, our booster is attempting to land on our drone ship. Just read the instructions.
Now the next event coming up will be the entry burn taking place around T plus seven and a half minutes. This burn will utilize three of the engines on the first stage. That helps to slow the booster down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Dragon copies. Following the entry burn, we will see the landing burn, and that'll be around T plus nine minutes. That one will be just a single engine burn and that will bring the booster down for a soft landing on our drone ship. Around the same time as that, we expect to see Dragon um, be, uh, we expect to see Dragon be injected into orbit. Everything continuing to look good for second stage there on the right hand side of your screen. Beautiful glow with that MVAC engine nozzle. We can see the crew settling Dragon quite... Dragon SpaceX, trajectory nominal. Dragon copy. Crew seems pretty comfortable there at T plus six minutes. They're at about four Gs. And everything looks good. First stage continuing its descent back down to planet Earth. We can see the crew remain with their visors down in the locked position. That'll remain that way until they are in orbit. Everything continuing to look great with the second stage uh, engine burn there, as well as the... Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Dragon copies. We're about 30 seconds away from the first stage entry burn. This is the first of two burns that the first stage will perform. Designed to help reduce the amount of drag experienced by the first stage. Stage two FTS has saved. All right, standing by for entry burn begin on the first stage there on the left hand side of your screen. And right on time, you can see on your left hand screen that the entry burn has begun. There's three engines lit on that first stage vehicle. And this is about a 29 second burn and helps slow the vehicle down as it's re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. There you can see that the engines have now shut down on that first stage, that concludes the entry burn. And the cool part about this uh, with the stage one vehicle returning back to Earth is we get to fully utilize the atmosphere. The atmosphere actually... Stage two's in thermal guidance. The atmosphere actually scrubs about 70% of the velocity uh, on the vehicle. So we use that entry burn to help slow the vehicle down. Then we utilize the atmosphere uh, and the drag from the atmosphere to slow the vehicle down. And then we do have one single burn for Shannon. the landing burn. <laughs> Copy, Shannon. And next up will be Sika 1. And that is second stage engine cutoff one, and that'll be on the second stage. That MVAC engine on your right hand screen will shut down and allow the vehicle with Dragon attached to coast. MVAC shut down. And there's that shutdown. And the landing burn on the first stage should be starting up here momentarily. And there it is. Landing burn has begun Dragon for- Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. Dragon SpaceX, launch escape system disarmed. Copy that SpaceX and we show the scene.
and a lot of events happening right there, but you can see that the stage one vehicle has touched down. I'm just read the instructions. A very excited crowd there. <laughs> Here in Hawthorne, we've also confirmed MVAC engine shutdown and orbital insertion of the second stage with the crew on board. Yeah, honestly, a pretty impressive crowd uh, for 2.30 in the morning here. <laughs> <laughs> we can see the crew enjoying their first taste of microgravity there on the left-hand side of your screen. 